What is going on guys and welcome to episode 17 of the Crystal Palace career mode Finally getting back into it, had a bit of a few days off from it because of different things And of course the video with the foot draft went up the other day So this is finally going to be back and I promise you, I just swear to god I'm going to try and get more out I am trying my hardest to do more videos, it's just really hard to find the time But mostly I am pretty okay today because I'm going to be doing two more games in this episode and of course we have a few more in terms of transfers to deal with as well. One particularly good comment which was left on the last episode or the episode the episode before episode 15 was to buy John Stones. Now I was uh, pretty interested in this one. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna lie, I do like John Stones. Uh, he will cost me around 12.5 million. If I decide to go for him, I'm tempted to because I do need a bit more cover at the back and he looks really good and I know for a fact he starts off at at least a 77 so the chance size is probably in the low 80s by now. So we can try and pick him up, he's not going to be cheap. I've inquired about him but I'm, I'm going to go for an offer as well and I'm thinking I'm going to have to go over my, pretty much my entire budget so I'm going to go with 7 million. But also what I'm going to do is I'm also going to request some money from the board uh, which is pretty dangerous because I'm going to say we're going to reach the semi-final of the cup and what I'm going to ask for, I'm going to ask for 4 million because I think if I move around with the wage budget I should be okay to be able to pick that up and then I will be able to buy John Stones and my defence will be completely solid along with the obviously signing up Mbemba as well. Last episode went okay in terms of results. No, I didn't really. <laughs> we lost uh, nil nil. Not lost, we drew nil nil both times. And they want 21 million for John Stones and they have actually accepted, but they will offer me 3.4. I'll take it, it's money at the end of the day. So they want 21 million for John Stones. I have around 12 million. So we're going to have to go in and try and pick it up, try and move it around a bit maybe. He's on, he's, on, he's on 50 grand a week, but I need to keep some money in case of people wanting more contracts. So we'll go about 13.3 and we'll try and pick him up. I might even try and offer him a player maybe, like maybe not necessarily another defender, but maybe we can pick him up for a decent price. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to go to the email again, aren't I? Uh, no, okay. Transfer negotiations, maybe? There it is. Alright, John Stones. They haven't actually accepted it, have they? No, they didn't accept it, but... Okay, we'll leave it for now, then. We haven't got an offer yet. We had, we had the Inquire come back, and we also had the email about the funds. We got Punch and Back from Injury. Good to see. Another update. Uh, the sum is too low. I expected it. It was going to happen. So we're going to go straight in with a £12 million bid for John Stones. I mean, to be honest, I mean, in real life they're asking for about £30 million, so, you know, it's a pretty good uh, bargain if you can pick him up. And obviously he is one of England's prospects. I think he'll actually do really well and be our best centre-back in terms of years to come. Game against Bournemouth coming up. Can we get an offer accepted email before that? No, unacceptable. They want, they actually want £21 million for him. We have another million to spend. We can go 13 million. Is there anyone I'd be willing to let go? Because there probably is somewhere. Oh, Bakary Saka, maybe. You know, he's got players ahead of him, so maybe if I can find Bakary Saka and I offer 10 million plus Saka, maybe they can go for that. You know, Sacco's a good player, and Everton do tend to sign him whenever I do a career mode. So. This is the team we're going to go with in the game. I'm going to keep it the same. Uh, I might put Jason Punchin back onto the bench, actually. Uh, let's see where he is. He's still in low form. He's still got an injury. But I will probably... I think I'll bring off somebody. Uh, let's bring off... Uh, Ledley. To bring on Punchin. And I think... Actually, no. I want to, actually, no, I want to bring in... I want to bring in Gale. Okay, so I have to bring on more strikers. I think I'll bring off much for that. And 
I'm actually going to start Williams in this game instead of Kabai. Put Ali back at centre mid. My system is eventually going to end up changing to a uh, like central thing. I'm going to try and get the ground work going with Giroud. But for now, let's go into this game against Bournemouth and see if we can pick up the first goal of the season, which is my aim mostly in this game. Uh, they can play in their pink kit. It's the, probably the most uh, different one they have. So, strike, two strikers, home game against Bournemouth. Three points is what we need. Okay, here we go. Home game against Bournemouth. Bournemouth, a very, very good team with great footballers. Just signed a Wolf striker, a phobie in real life, which is very gutting for me personally. And it seems to me that we haven't gone about replacing him just yet. But we should be okay in terms of picking up three points. Bournemouth are a very good team, but we have some good players. As long as I get the football going, I should be able to score a few goals. But let's see how we do. Oh, it's a good play. Bashuai, Bashuai, you've got to get this right. Get the cross in. Oh! It's gone in! It's an own goal, but it still counts as a goal for me. <laughs> the first goal of the season, and it's the most unusual goal you will ever see. It's fantastic for me, though. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to pick up three points here, and I get a lucky break, finally. It's an own goal... No dispute to the keeper is just taking out his player who's just chested it into the back of the net. And I've got ourselves a lucky break. 1-0. Get in. Okay, there is half time. We're still we're winning 1-0. We're doing well. We best, we got ourselves a lucky break with an own goal. We've had a few chances as well. Other than that, uh, I'm not sure whether they're actually gonna be in the video or not, but uh playing well, got ourselves a one 0 lead, second half, just gonna try and Build on it and get some second goal. Right, here we go, Giroud. Sort of Delhi Alley. You can hold on to the ball really well. Pick out that ball. There it is. Williams. Giroud. Batch away! 2 0! Best football I've played this entire season, and it has given me a second goal. Great link up play between Giroud and Batch away. Great play from the midfielders. Williams picking out Giroud, he plays a simple ball to Batshuayi, who has the littlest of jobs to do, he has easy chance to put into the goal, and he does it very successfully, and it's 2-0, best performance of the season so far, we need to grow on it and get on to get three points. Alright Giroud, Williams, it's through to Batshuayi, can he make it three? He can! It's 3-0. I'm absolutely tearing Bournemouth apart. Batshuayi with his pace is too much to handle. Williams playing those balls through and great play from Giroud here picking up Williams who plays a brilliant first time ball through. Batshuayi one touch, little dink finish and it is 3-0 against Bournemouth. This is how you respond to 2 0 nil draws in a row. A 3-0 win, I'm getting used to these players and I think I have got goals in me this season. Right, great punch from the keeper to clear it out. And seeing as how it's 73 minutes in, let's make some substitutions. Uh, we're going to bring off Williams, he's a bit tired, he's had a really good game. Really, really happy with his performance today. Zaha's going to come off, we're going to bring on Punch and to play on the right. I'm also going to bring off Giroud and bring on Dwight Gale. Uh, Giroud had a pretty decent game, I think he's got one assist, possibly two. But he's been involved a lot, he just has to, hasn't quite got that clinical finishing that I want to see just yet. But it's coming. I can see it coming soon. Let's see if Dwight Gale can pick up a goal. Okay, that is full time. A 3-0 win. Fantastic burst in the second half. First 10 minutes scoring two goals. And already off to a great start this season. Unbeaten. Yet to concede a goal. Scored three as well. I'm doing pretty well. You know, I've definitely improved uh, performance-wise since the first two games of the season. And two goals for Batshuayi from two shots. Clinical finishing, Giroud I'm very happy with today as well. I thought he did really well. Hold up the ball well, picked up the passes. And special mention has to go to Julian Speroni in goal, 37 years of age, and pulling off saves that would make people like Courtois look amazing. Great 3-0 win. Let's go into the next game and well, let's see who we're playing first. 
Okay, we've had a response from Everton about John Stones. They are not interested in signing Sacco. So we're going to have to either pick a different player or we're going to have to completely forget about this deal happening. He's 80 rated. I really want to pick him up. But it doesn't look as if it's going to be easy. Is there anyone here that could potentially make this deal go through? If it's going to be someone, it's going to be someone worth over 4 million, 5 million, something like that. And I mean, Connor Wickham could be potential. Uh, but I did, I do like using Connor Wickham. He's pretty good. But we'll try him. You know, I'm willing to let him go. So we'll try 10 million plus Connor Wickham. In fact, we'll bump this up to 12 million. And we're going to try our hardest to pick up John Stones. I really want to, really want to use him. But it could potentially be that we wait until January. Meanwhile, we do have an, a League Cup game up against Blackpool. Uh, you know my rules with the Cup guys. I always sim them. Oh, they've accepted it. Yes. Okay, we can go through this now. We're going to try 60 grand. Four years. He's going to be a crucial first team player. And can we pick up John Stones and have a really, really rapid defence? Stones and Mbemba. Meanwhile, let's change the squad to the second team here. Uh, let's cha change a few players around. We're going to give Dwight Gale a game. We're going to bring in Kai Kai on the right. We'll keep Sako on the left. Punch and play in the middle. Ledley and Much, I'm happy to use if anyone else isn't really decent. No. Uh, we're going to give Hunt a game at right back. Fryers at left back. Delaney in Innes at centre back. McCarthy in goal. Firstly, my second team, and it still looks pretty good. Uh, we should pick up and still pick up a decent win against Blackpool. Uh, we'll play just for this match. Don't know who it is, but it was probably someone on the bench. It was indeed. Uh, Crystal Palace versus Blackpool, and it's an easy 4-1 win. Saka with the goal, punching with two, and Gale picking up a goal for himself as well. Uh, not a bad result actually. I'm pretty happy with that. And we go into our next Premier League game up against West Brom with confidence on our side. We're scoring goals for fun at the minute, apparently. And we've got John Stones ready to play. He's accepted the offer. And we are pretty much out of money now, which means no signings are gonna be made from this point on uh, in this season. Probably in January, if I can pick up the money. But it looks as if the squad we've got is what we're gonna use. And John Stones is a very good signing. And to only pick up him up for 12 million plus the sale of Connor Wickham, it's pretty impressive. If I ever have to, I can go back to a two, uh, one striker formation. Or I can even play someone like Zaha or Balassi up front. So I'm pretty happy with the way things have gone. Uh, Spironi wants to play. Well, yeah, you're going to, mate. You know, your first choice. It's cup games, you know? Uh, we're not going to... Shall I start John Stones? I'm going to bring him onto the bench for definite. Though I think what I'll do is I'll keep him on the bench for this game and keep Delaney in because Delaney did really well in the last game and then next game I think what I'll do is I'll bring in John Stones or should I play him? Yeah it's a new sign, I've got to give him a go and I? John Stones is in and we are going to be playing with this team, no changes really whatsoever uh, we're going to bring off McCarthy, we're going to have to bring on another player onto the bench because of the sale of uh, Connor Wickham, we're bring on Sacco, there we go, this has a winger on the bench Tillemans He's really got the push for that centre mid spot because he's not really getting into the team at the minute. And I do want to try and use him, but Ali is there. Williams has got to start this game after the game he had last game. All right, game against West Brom. Let's go. Okay, here we go. We're playing at the Hawthorns. West Brom, Wolves local rivals. Crystal Palace looking for another win. If we get two wins in a row, I'll be very happy with this episode. And then we can move on to some post commentary episodes where I've played through because I need to get them going. Uh, playing a pretty good West Brom team, I know they have some pretty solid players in the game. So let's take a look at their team and see if we can pick up anyone to go. Here we go, player debuts. We got uh, Mali is making his debut for West Brom, pretty good. And of course John Stones making his debut for us. Very excited to use him, see how he plays. He should be very solid at the back. Let's see how we do, let's go. Like, oh, good play. Balas is through. He's got, the, he's got the pace on him. That's a penalty. It was always going to be a penalty. We got ourselves a brilliant chance to go one the up. Johnny Evans fouling Balassi on the, edge of, on the edge of the box. Second he went down, he knew it was going to be a penalty. And we've got a glorious chance to take the lead. Nothing has been happening in this game. Literally, it's the first real attack we've had. It's going to be Juru to take it. I'm going to let him take it to get his goal. 
Will he get his first goal for the club? Yes, he will. It's a beautiful penalty. And Olivier Giroud, a brilliant signing from Arsenal, has just made it 1-0 away from home against Ben Foster. In goal, West Brom. Really winnable game, and we are, looks like as if we're going to be on our way to a win. Nothing has been happening in this game, and Giroud has come away with the goods. Great penalty, and he's got his first goal in a Crystal Palace shirt. Can he push on and get a few more? That's oh, good play, Bashoy. Giroud's going to go on the end of that. He's got it brilliantly. He's got the strength on these guys. All right, let's give it out to Kelly. Straight to, straight to Deli Alley. Here's a Williams. First touch is good. That's another penalty. It had to be. And this could even be a red card. It's Williams is going down this time and we've got a chance to go 2 0 up. That is a Stonewall penalty if ever I've seen one. And in fact, that looks like their new signing, Mali, has given it away. And we have definitely got a chance here to go 2 0 up. Giroud, I'm going to go the same way this time. I'm going to go right top right again. And it's gone in again. Fantastic first half. Where nothing has happened apart from these two penalties. So pretty much, I think these penalties are going to be the only thing in the highlights. But Giroud has got two goals, two clinical penalties. And we have got a fantastic chance to just continue a rout on West Brom. They have been atrocious defensively. Giving away two penalties very cheaply. And we have got a 2-0 lead. I'm not arguing. I'll take it any day of the week. And that is half-time almost immediately after the second penalty. Two penalties have been the deciding factor in this game. I've managed to go through twice and I've picked up a penalty and Giroud has put them both away in a clinical fashion. We've got ourselves a great chance to get six points out of six this episode. And it would be an amazing result if I can pick up a another clean sheet as well. I'd literally have gone the whole season and the only team to score past me was in a sim game against Blackpool. But Giroud looking better and he is looking clinical in the penalty situation. Second half, let's go. All right, 78 minutes in, literally nothing has happened in the second half. I doubt there'll even be any highlights in it. Giroud is gonna come off. He's not gonna get his hat trick, unfortunately. He's getting a bit tired. Dwight Gales can get his chance, but I'm very happy with Giroud today. Two penalties put away. Also gonna bring on Telemans to play at Cam, and we're gonna bring on Kabai to just solid up that midfield. And we're going to bring him into the centre, put Ali out wide. 2 0 leads, two penalties. I'd be happy with this to finish up. Let's carry on. Oh, yeah, that is the full time whistle. In a game where not much happened, only chances came with the penalties. Both were put away. I've managed to come away with a 2 0 win. I'm going really well this season. Four games, 2 0 0 draws, a 3 0 win against Bournemouth, and a 2 0 win against West Brom. Four games without conceding the goal is pretty impressive in this league and also a progression in the cup. It's been a very successful start to the season. I'm loving using the team again. I finally found a way of actually using it successfully because I'm much past the defence. I think we're in for good things this season. Let's take a look at the league table and see how we're finishing up this episode. Alright guys, here we are. After four games of the league, we are in fourth position in a table which looks Relatively normal to be honest compared to last season. Uh, QPR top, that's the only thing that's really different. Uh, Liverpool second, Newcastle third, we are fourth, Arsenal fifth. Uh, all the big teams are in the top ten apart from Chelsea and Norwich, Bournemouth and Hull are in the relegation zone. Uh, we're doing really well and I'm really enjoying using the team. We're yet to concede a goal which is very good to see. We started picking up goals as well. We scored five this episode plus the four in the cup. I'm very happy with that. So anyway guys, that is the end of the episode. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. Leave a comment telling me anything you want me to tell me. Like if you want me to, if you want me to play certain players, then tell me and I'll, I'll give them a go. You know, to ask if your series budget is mine. And subscribe if you are new and you're enjoying the series and you want to see some more. And I will see you all in another video.